Hi there! This is Nana. Welcome to our channel, Flying Dresses Zanzibar. And I'm so glad and excited today to show you our behind the scenes. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Okay, are you ready? Let's go! You know, flying dresses in um, they mostly done in different countries like Italy, Spain, Indonesia, especially in Bali. So I and my team, Danny and my team, we tried to do the flying dresses in Zanzibar. So we introduced the flying dresses in Zanzibar. So this is our first time doing it. Um, Danny is the photographer, and I am like a coordinator in the flying dresses. So we will show you around the behind the scenes. So we encounter many challenges since it's our first time doing it. But I'm so excited to share with you everything behind the scenes and show you the outcome from the challenges that we got. But all in all, we met, we made it, we made it. We let's say 15%, 50%, something like that. So we we did it on a yesterday so this is just our new um, video that we will show with you we are located in a stone town which is a part of town in zanzibar so we moved to stone town to we were just doing some uh, roundup of knowing which location we could be starting doing our first photo shoot for the flying dresses and then we came up with a place that called michambi is the southern part of our Zanzibar and so we drove for like one hour and a half drive to reach our destination and we had two beautiful ladies one is Angel and the other one is Irene they're very very beautiful souls and they were very helpful on this first day that we had because I also had to do the photo shoot uh, for the first day just to experience um, um the flying process what should just to experience it before we have the flow of the customers coming in so exactly i know what we should do and what we should not do our first first spot was the dial boat so we cruised from uh, from where they parked the boat and went to this small beautiful uh sunbank in michanvi here we can also see the starfish so we parked the boat on this area and we started our photo shoot. We started dressing angels because we have no experience in this so we started dressing angel to be the first one to do the photo shoot and as you can see I'm holding the tail of the dress it's very long. Our photo shoot was supposed to be very very quick since we arrived late and as you know there is high tide and low tide in the ocean so the tide changes after every six hours so we had almost like one hour and a half to finish the photo shoot so it was supposed to be very very quick and you see the sunbank it's when it's high tide it's covered and there's no sunbank anymore so we had to do it very quick and we started dressing um, Irene and then I, fo I followed since we had a very limited time I followed doing the dressing, but the tide reached us to us very quick, and it was very it's already high tide, and we had to go back to the boat and go back to the beach where you see the sandbank. If you can see it from behind us, from the camera, you can't see anymore the sandbank. If you remember, we parked the, the dial boat uh, just beside the sandbank. So we had to drive back to the beach on the side, on the other side of the beach. and we tried to capture also some photos but we had also a challenge with the wind so the wind was blowing up very very strong so stay tuned for the next part two to hear and see what was the outcome and how the photos look like despite the challenges see you on my next video don't forget to give me a comment 
on our video and also don't forget to subscribe and like the video thank you so much we love you see you in the next episode